Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the food experience. Today's experience, I got a real special one for you. The kind folks at Caloric sent me a new version of the Caloric Max air fryer oven grill. This is revision number two. Apparently, there were some updates that were done to it, and I'm so honored that they contacted me to review the product for you guys. Apparently, they've been noticing all my other videos with the grill since I bought in December and with the original Max, which I really love both devices. So first, let me show you some specifications for the grill in case you're not familiar with it. In case you guys didn't know, the Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven Grill is a multifunction device. It does air frying, oven, grilling, dehydrating, it'll proof your bread dough, it does all kinds of good things and I love this device. I'm going to unbox and show you how to properly prepare and burn in the device. And without further ado, here we go. After unpacking the box, you will receive a bunch of literature, grill grate, bake and drip pan, dehydrator tray, two rotisserie forks, a rotisserie rod, and the Max Grill. In regards to the literature that comes with it, you will receive a quick start guide both in English and Spanish. The Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven Grill User Manual, one warranty card, product registration card, and a Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven Grill recipe book and it has recipes by Chef Jamie Gwen. Here's a look at the Max Grill. First, you need to finish unpacking some things. You want to remove the clear film. You will find a piece of cardboard and some strapping tape. Go ahead and cut that. Remove the tape and the cardboard. You will see additional strapping tape going down and across that you need to remove. Located at the very bottom is the drip groove. It just slides in the front just like that. You also need to peel off these panel stickers. They peel off very easily and they don't leave any residue behind. Inside you will find the rest of the accessories. You will get one wire rack. Then the air fryer basket, which also includes a rotisserie removal tool and an air fryer basket removal tool. They are held together with cable ties. Cut them all loose. And I'll be going over all these things separately in a getting to know your Max Grill video. Next at the bottom you will find the active charcoal filter. Slide out the crumb tray. It's also protected in cardboard and then go ahead and slide the tray back in. Make sure to always have the tray at the very bottom below the heating elements. These slots right here on the back accommodate the charcoal filter. It's a Ziploc bag and inside is the charcoal filter. There are two pieces of strapping tape that you need to remove. Along with a piece of styrofoam. Next, install the charcoal filter. It goes in those slots and then pushes down into place. Next, you want to situate your Max in a spot where it has plenty of room to breathe. You need to make sure to leave at least four inches on the sides and the top. And I recommend a little bit more than four inches on the rear, but four inches they say should be adequate. Time to connect the power. I'm using an extension cord, but I want to give you a word of caution. If you're going to use an extension cord or power strip or anything like that, make sure it is rated to handle 15 amps or higher. If you don't, you're going to experience electrical issues with the product. That being said, this is definitely a 15 amp cord. Let's plug her in. When I connected the power, as you notice, everything lit up on the front panel. And now we're left with a caloric logo and a start stop button. Next, we're going to do a couple burn in tests. Uh, it's necessary for a couple of reasons. One, to verify the heating elements are all functioning. And two, to burn off any leftover residue or manufacturing oils. During this time, you may smell an off odor coming out and that's perfectly normal. If you notice, I let the start-stop time out. 
Now to wake it back up again, just press the selector dial once, press the start stop button, air fry, navigate over to steak, press the selector dial once, it's going to highlight the time, increase it to 20 minutes, press start stop and away it goes. If you notice right now the steak light is blinking, when it gets up to 500 degrees the steak light will turn solid. In steak mode it only activates the upper two heating elements. A few minutes has elapsed and as you can see both of the heating elements are glowing red. Alright there we go, time's up. The burn-in process of the upper heating elements and the steak function is complete. Next we're going to check the lower heating elements. Press start stop, go to oven, navigate over to grill, I'm decreasing it to 10 minutes. Press select, press the start stop button and that cycle will begin. Since it's still super hot from the last cycle, it's at 473. Also, if you look inside, you will notice that all four lower heating elements are glowing red. So there you go, you know they function, and I'm going to let this finish. Also, when using the grill function, the air fryer fan is on. There we go, the cycle has completed. That concludes the preparation and testing portion for the Caloric Max Grill. Welcome back everybody. That was a look at the Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven Grill, revision number two. I thoroughly enjoy this device. I hope you enjoyed everything I brought to you in this video, showed you how to unbox it, identified all the parts, showed you how to prepare and burn in the device, ran a couple tests. I think that's good enough to get most people going. Next, I will be releasing another video going more in depth about the functions, so stay tuned for that. Um, final closing thoughts. Everything about this product is double thumbs up all the way. I've honestly never had one bad experience. And I'm not just saying that because Caloric sent me this device. You already know how much I rave about it. How many videos have I filmed using this and the original one? Hmm, it's got to be at least 50 of them, I'm imagining. I really use it for most everything. It's a total workhorse. So yeah, go check it out at caloric.com. Also look at my description. I have a link back to Caloric. That way you can go to their website. They have all kinds of different appliances and things for your kitchen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please drop me a line below. I thoroughly enjoy hearing and interacting with you guys. So until next time, have a stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I am KJ Andy O, your food experience host with the most. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.